so my name is Matt Jones. I'm the principal at Hena Gate Spencer Academy. And I was originally based at George Spencer, which was the, the founding school of the Multi Academy Trust, which is now the Spencer Academies Trust. And then Hena Gate was one of the first schools that was brokered uh, when the trust originated. Uh, and I came over as a, a vice principal and then I was taking on the principalship this year. I was a, a sportsman by trade, so I played cricket and I played football at a reasonable level. Uh, so I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do in my life, but I knew that I wanted it to be something that was uh, actively involved in supporting people. You know, I became a PE teacher, um, but my real passion was to try and work within the, the pastoral section of, of a school. Uh, and I had a, a real desire to become, you know, a head of year or a pastoral leader. I'm from a uh, an area in Derby City where life chances potentially aren't hugely uh, lucrative. That, that stemmed a little bit of desire in me to, to try and make sure that, that children shouldn't have to travel outside of catchment. We should all try and empower young people to have the same life chances regardless of where they, they live, whatever their background is um, and whatever needs they've got. And so I think that, that, that passion, desire to, to support young people was the key driver behind me getting into education. Yeah, so Paul, our CEO, is um, he's, he's really passionate about making sure that we're a bespoke trust and we've got something unique to offer our workforce. Um, a lot of people think that you know money's the answer to everything, and, and pay obviously in the current climate is, is quite a topical issue. But but there's other things that, that are really important to staff, and I think feeling valued and, and being supported and accessing the latest research is quite a key driver for a lot of our staff and a lot of young graduates entering the profession as well. So facilitating all of our staff to be able to access the latest research, the latest pedagogy, supplement a lot of the work that already goes on within our, our wider teaching school at Lyons and Salt um, is quite a key driver behind obviously why Paul made this decision. So I think it's a great decision. Um, it means that staff and leaders at all levels, including our, our really valued support staff in, the, in terms of the teaching assistants, they, they can stay up to date with, with everything at the touch of a button or at, at ease really without having to go and find all that information themselves. So I think it's been a really valuable um, piece of, of professional development and professional investment really in our staff. It's a, it's a group membership for all of the trust and we've got, um, we've got all, all of our teachers and all of our teaching assistants have got associate membership. So yeah, it's a wide membership. So at Hina, we've got all of our all of our staff signed up, um, and we did that on mass. Um, so I've made the decision to try and incorporate the Chartered College into our CPD program. So throughout the year, we have various elements of, of either compulsory or bespoke CPD that staff can can join, um, and each of the faculties has has CPD sessions on a weekly basis. And we've used the, the Chartered College to try and inform what we're doing but also support and supplement some of the things that we're trying to roll out across school. So for, for argument's sake, every inset session that we deliver or any of the CPD sessions we deliver, we base whatever our delivery is around a piece of research that someone's engaged with. And then there'll be a, you know, a takeaway task for staff to go and do in terms of accessing and engaging with that piece of research to try and embed it within our context. So at Hino, it's been brilliant. Um, we, we were at a school that was um, very different seven years ago, and we've been on a journey, not just in terms of developing the school through Ofsted, but, but refining and developing a culture as well. Um, and we had an Ofsted inspection in May, which, which stated that would we have received a Section 5 inspection at that point, we would have been outstanding. And so the culture's changed to try and make sure that actually what we're now delivering in a classroom isn't just good on a daily basis, it's exceptional. Uh, I think staff being able to support what they're doing with the latest pedagogy and the latest research means that as leaders, it's, easy to, it's much easier to get staff buy-in because we're using proven methods, but also as teachers, it's much easier to, to, to try and use new ideas when you know that they've got some substance and they've got some research to support them. So that's been brilliant. Yeah, I'd 100% recommend using the Chartered College uh, and as a trust or a group of schools, the benefit of that, you know, is fantastic because it allows all of your staff to, to access the same level of, of research and the same level of, of information, meaning that everyone's on the, the same footprint. Really.